Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss the new partnership between Wranglers and Buffalo Trace. My name is Miss Becca Sue. Please join me welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guest, Von Nieters, (laughs) (laughs) Kathy Cool, and Katie Joyce. Hey, gang, what's up? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah, the Von Nieters thing is now, it's official. So he's just Von Nieters in our our world. He's Von Nieters. I like that. A year from now, it won't even seem weird. It'll just be, that's Von Nieters. So, Von huh? Nieters. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. <laughs> so we've got the fun show today. We're going to be talking about uh, Wranglers and Buffalo Trace, this new partnership. We'll get to that after the break. For right now, Evan. Uh, no. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this isn't Evan on the show tonight. I haven't I haven't podcasted in a while. Uh Kathy, yeah. you you have spoken. We haven't podcasted in like three weeks. I know it's been forever. Rusty. We're just we're just yeah, idiots we're now. We, we don't know how to podcast Prepare anymore. yourself for this a, is like a retraining a show. Running show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. All right, Kathy go, Kathy seems to be writing notes. So go ahead. Oh, oh she I'm was. Right, she I'm literally was. Research. Yeah. Okay. All right. At what age were you when you got to start so we're talking about wranglers here okay what age were you when you got to start picking like the clothes that you wanted to wear at the store versus what your mother bought and you were just going to wear it because that's what kmart had right Mm. so great you bring up kmart because i wasn't allowed to wear wranglers as a kid i had to get the kmart version the rustlers uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, we didn't have a lot of money in my house. So my mom, uh, yeah, I would say uh, dressed me through seventh grade. Then I, then by eighth grade, uh, you know, they started getting the, the, you know, the jams and all that kind of stuff. That's the stuff I wear. OP shirts. Uh, that's, that's, that's when I kind of started wearing my own stuff. Other than that, I'll just let my mom dress me basically. So yeah. didn't really have any, I didn't go shopping. She just would buy the stuff. Uh, yeah. No. Hmm. That's what. I don't Mom Neaters, does your mom still dress you? Because you seem confused. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't know that you eventually start dressing yourself. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> For a man, not generally. <laughs> yeah. You just wait no. until a significant other starts then buying <laughs> I was, your clothes. I was gonna warrior. say, I think I don't remember when my mom stopped dressing me, but I do remember when my wife started. Okay. <laughs> that was the thing. That was the thing over there. Probably yeah. disgusted as well. Like yeah. I was like, oh, he's running on blue jeans. He's gonna need more of those soon. Like, yeah. They the did a hands off. I buy him. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I bought clothes. Yeah, great. Okay. It's a very yeah. normal man thing, right there. Uh huh. Mm. I buy a Tommy Bahama shirt uh, at least a, uh, once a week now. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Why, why do I need this many? I don't know. Week, you're making it difficult yes. to, to give you gifts because so, birthday and Christmas, the easiest thing to do is get you a Tommy <sighs> Bahama shirt. And now you're robbing your family from that Steve, opportunity. You're going to like. I saw they had one with the palmetto t- t- tree on it today in flannel. I mean, I had to have it. I, even He's though I just bought a shirt last week. Of the year. 
And then you need to organize them in a strategic category and just wear that every day of the year. Every single, well, I mean, you just put them all in order and then you would just open it up and you you just grab it. I'm getting there. I I think once you get washed, you put it to the end. So you have to buy a new Tommy Bahama hanger every time you buy a new Tommy Bahama shirt. Well, I'm unfortunately, I'm to the point where I, I have the hangers. And I some have to be folded up and put uh, you know aside oh. for the moment because I have I don't have enough closets unless someone come, wants to come that's listening wants to come in and build a Tommy Bahama closet. Uh, you need maybe to we'll convert to Tommy Bahama to a yeah. Tommy Bahama closet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll you know what? How on. that would fit with how Wrangler paired with Buffalo Trace? You could pair with Tommy Bahama and have the I should Tommy Bahama closet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Why don't you just get, get a, a rolling rack? rack? I think you need rack. more than just like a rolling, rolling rack, shirt, like hanging rack. That takes up room where his bottles of whiskey. He has there. fucking room. <laughs> I was just at his house. He's got fucking room. <laughs> now going to the guest room is just going to be a bunch of rolling hanging oh, racks of all the Tommy I, Bahama shirts. I feel like I want to create uh, an experience in one of those rooms. It could be like some palm tree type of things, and uh, you already whole have thing a palm tree in there. I do. I do. There is a palm tree in one of the rooms already. So, uh, yeah. Also, I, I looked at that. Uh, the uh, what's the big bug with the pinchers? Yeah, yeah. What is this guy? Scarab, the... a scarab beetle. A beetle. Yeah, sure. No. Um... I'm impressed. Kathy got that from <laughs> the hand yeah. yeah, we gesture. A praying mantis. A praying mantis. No, no, she called. knew what I meant. Um, <laughs> I looked at that today on the wall, Steve. This morning, uh-huh. so I was I was in Steve's bed this morning with my oh, husband. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not Steve. All right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I was in the guest room this morning. She was um, at the guest room just this he morning. He was in the room. He just wasn't in the bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> getting worse. <laughs> Steve was there. Uh, I was looking at that bug, and I didn't realize that that's what it was. And I was like staring at it, and I was like, "What is that bug with like the white right. head and the what?" And there's like right. black around him because there's one little spot, but it's his. It's one of his little pincher like like claws. Mm-hmm. Um. It, it looked like an eye, and I was just confused about what it is. And Royce is like, "No, it's the the, the big beetle with the right." No, so I was wrong. It's a stag beetle. Oh, oh, stag. oh it makes sense. Stag, yeah, yeah. Oh, George, course, that's why you George have it stag long. beetle is what that is. Yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks it's a uh, right. Yeah, there every, you go. Everyone thinks that it's a uh, a tropical room. It's actually yeah. a very <laughs> deep bourbon room. Yeah. So we've got a uh, four bedroom house and uh, we just bought it when we got married and didn't know how many kids we're going to have or anything. So we got a four bedroom. And then uh, then we put my daughter in a room and when she's born and we make it like a jungle theme room. And the, uh, my buddy painted a mural in there, which is cool. It's a jungle theme mural. He did a great job. Uh, and then when my daughter got, I don't know, 11, said, I, let's paint over this. I don't want the, that mural in my room anymore. We just said, "Fuck it, move it." You're going to a different room. <laughs> I don't know. I, I liked it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I love. Yeah. I love the tropical room. Yeah, so. jungle room's my favorite. Yeah, so I don't want to stay in the other room. room. You don't want to stay in the bourbon room. There's, there, we have now the, have the jungle I, room. If, the if I'm room. there, I'm staying yeah. in the jungle room. In the jungle room. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. The, this is. I'm in the podcast room. So yeah, we have, we have themed rooms. The bathroom downstairs has a theme too. It's the uh, Santa Fe bathroom. Uh, if you're in the guest bathroom, it's the Santa Fe bathroom. <laughs> Everything else so true. <laughs> this is the podcast room. This is the bedroom. This is the Santa Fe. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got a marketing firm for one room, and then he I was really into bathroom. Santa Fe for a while. I'm going back next year for the first time in a long time. I was really into Santa Fe. We were going a bunch of times, and uh i took this really neat photo of a sunrise and so i incorporated that in there uh this photo that i took it's just the sky looked different there than it does here in st louis so that's yeah. weird yeah. santa fe it's, so it's a nice not even orange like a color. desert theme or no, know, there's nothing else around there no, no, no. you just walk in there santa, yeah. fe. santa fe right it right. actually looks exactly like a uh, public bathroom that he used there He's like, it's Santa <laughs> Fe bathroom. There's artwork in there, included by a noted celebrity. So In the rest stop <laughs> off Interstate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a fantastic bathroom I've got there. So <laughs> Santa Fe bathroom. Anyways, if anybody ever comes over, you have to use the bathroom, the guest bathroom. You'll get to experience yeah. the Santa Fe bathroom. Yeah. All the bathrooms need to have city themes now. We need to have a St. Probably. Louis bathroom, a Louisville yeah. bathroom. 
I was thinking I want to redo the guest bathroom, so I'll have to come up with a thing. That one really does the one that. upstairs. The kid decorated. Yeah, the kid decorated. Yeah, that one that. is uh, like early uh, yeah, 2000s it, right. teenage it's daughter terrible. theme right it, now. Yeah, exactly. She, it, she it reminds me of Lizzie McGuire. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> Admittedly, it's bad. No. Yeah. Everything about it's bad. Right now. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, there goes the dog. Yeah. Well, the dogs are... um, so anyways, when my parents let me start dressing myself... <laughs> Martin's done a whole show. All right, on that note, let's wrap this one up. <laughs> it's going to be a two-hour show. Again, we have a podcast so while. We forgot the format. Where well, we don't even know. Show, oh, right? I did. I was going to say, I don't remember. I don't think I've ever started dressing myself. My mom was so good at convincing me that it was my choice. Right. That it was just this continuum to where she still can like buy clothes. I'm like, oh, this didn't quite fit me. Do you want it? And I was like, oh, that's exactly the style I wear. So I'm still just dressing how my mother wanted me to dress. She's still body. doing. She's still. Yes. Dressing. I, I, I purchased it all myself, but she so much convinced me that it was my choices growing up for mm -hmm. dressing that it's just stayed the same. <laughs> she's crafty. She's good. Yeah, she's good. Becca, you were saying. Uh, oh, uh, I probably fourth grade. Really? really like and i wasn't like buying my own clothes i mean I, I was going to the store and you know i'd, I'd go to the you know preschool like uh like before school shopping you know mm -hmm. and then I'd, I'd you know find clothes that my mom would buy me and then i'd come home and i'd do a whole fashion show uh-huh nice i, like I did Were i did animals? like pre oh go ahead. Hmm? sorry i had I animals. Really had gray animals i didn't have gray animals i don't know i don't or underoos Someone on the show wears those. underoos. I saw the other day by accident. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Go it's ahead. Does, I don't think they does, did. Does that person want to admit that, that they were wearing underoos? We'll see if anyone. If no one says anything, we'll just let it go. If on the show. Admits to it, yeah. On the show. Might, we might have to let that go. Does that include the background <laughs> of the? <laughs> we in no way think it's yeah. Von Meters. Yeah. KK doesn't. <laughs> KK doesn't want us talking about her, so we'll just. I didn't even know that was a brand <laughs> for <laughs> children. Oh, it's. it's yeah, uh, underwear. Are they underwear? Oh, underwear. I mean, uh, yeah, diapers. It's underwear. Like, that's fun to wear. And I thought they were diapers. Oh man, oh, you... underwear is the underwear that's fun to wear. It's the it's, yeah. it's the real stuff. Yeah. No, I it's thought like that was like a diaper brand. Me yeah. undies, but old school. Yeah, yeah. Huh. And and uh, one time when I was like in sixth grade, and uh, um, my uh, um, sixth grade uh, bud next door neighbor, his brother decides who was like eight years younger. He decides he's going to come dressed as Superman, but he was wearing the underoos Superman. So basically, he just walked to the bus stop with his mom when we were at school in his underwear. And uh, yeah, that was a nice. funny moment. It was a funny moment. They have been just all really great stories so far tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we're killing it. We're killing it. It's Kathy, you asked the question. <laughs> you asked the question. What the... I think it was probably eighth grade because eighth grade. Oh, you and I had to say, pants same thing. came out and right? I was going to get parachute pants, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Parachute pants. Ooh, parachute pants. Yes. I remember parachute, pants. parachute pants. I had a red pair and a black pair. Okay. Nice. When, uh, when hammer came around, did you start wearing those things with the very, with the balloon seat? No, <laughs> no, I did not. Why not? I don't know because I was a girl. I fashion for both girl clothes huh parachute pants or girl mom clothes? was dressing her i thought parachute yeah. pants were for both boys and girls well they were but okay okay well maybe hammer pants i don't know what they're called i'm not I sure either. i'll tell you what you're surprised seniors don't wear those like um hammered right? style pants because they wear the diapers that way that you wouldn't know you wouldn't i know, know. <laughs> i would think they would be trying to bring that fashion style they're probably hoping it comes back they're like man they're playing that song all the time just in the hopes marketing technique. I don't know. I think if you're there, I think you don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> seems, it is what it is. It is what it is. Huh. Okay. Whole new meaning to panty lines. Yeah. On that note, it is time to drink. What Please. is everyone drinking? Thank God. We're starting with Kathy. Okay. Yeah. I am going to kill this bottle of Hidden Barn. Okay. Hidden Barn. Maybe. Oh, that was wow. nice and bassy. It was surprising like that. 
Uh, go, go back and listen to that. Uh, just just hit back 15 seconds or what do you have to do on your, your service provider? It sounded like a toilet was flushing in the middle of that. <laughs> it really? did. No, no, one's in a, no one's in a bathroom. It sounded like there was a fucking toilet flushing. I don't, I don't understand. Why? Why was the toilet flushing in there? We don't know. They were squeaking. Maybe the office has dual functions. Squeaking toilet really flushing bad. and a base. Yeah. Someone's using the bathroom in her office, which is also the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Instead of a Santa Fe bathroom, this is oh. an apartment and podcasting bathroom. Right. The themes. I have a small house. I need to combine these. these okay. Functions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's good. Why not? Yum. All right. Uh, Katie, what do you got? I have some Ragged Branch. Okay. From the ABV Barrel Shop. That's correct. Okay. Okay, nice. that's the lead. That's the lead. That's good. Yes, microphone settings were correct. I was hopeful uh, I was going to have a chance because uh, this I, this is only maybe one pour out of here, and I haven't opened it in a long time. It's Kale. It isn't our barrel pick. This is one I got before that. This is a uh, straight rye whiskey from Kale. Let's see what we got. Oh, Ooh, oh, that was mm -hmm. clean. I might have done mm -hmm. it. Oh, anything? I, I, we'll throw it to a judge. Uh, we'll throw it to Kathy. Kathy, what? Who, who's got? I've the, already gone. You have to go against someone who hasn't gone yet. Yes, okay, Von Neeters. Who's who's got the lead? You have skin in the game. It's, you're gonna have to beat whoever. I say Katie has it. Okay, but still, I think yeah, that was a strategic move. Katie it? has it still. My mine was louder. He knows mine was louder, and he's like, "I gotta." <laughs> it's gonna be easier for no me. No matter to what happens, the judge. He judge just tainted will. his own record there, but uh, he gives himself a better chance of winning this. So. <laughs> No, Fair enough. You, asked yeah, you asked yeah. him. You asked him. Don't ask him. We him have to, to the judge. We have judge. to accept. <laughs> we have to accept. There's nothing we can do when we throw it to. We can complain about it. We have that right as Americans. We can discuss complain. an appeal procedure. <laughs> we might actually start doing a show at some point tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Too well, low on that one. <laughs> is it really the Bourbon Daily if someone doesn't disavow the show at some point during the proceedings? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Yes. It seems yeah. to be happening a lot more. All right. What do you got there, Von Neeters? Well, surprised you. I have a sample bottle, so I won't be doing a cork pop. So Katie wins. Oh! oh. A sample of Stag Katie Blood. wins. A Katie wins. Did, even though, even Becca, though Becca hasn't gone yet. Oh, yeah, go it's amazing. Yeah. He, he just grants her a victory. He's like, oh. Well, he he acted Becca like he was all on my show. Yeah, yeah. Becca, you don't even get to play. Yeah. Uh, Oh. Anita's has declared Katie the winner. <laughs> Nor do so. you get to drink. Becca yeah, can get drink. Yeah. Sorry. All right. What do you got there? Well, we're going to let you go ahead and play. But... Well, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to be drinking this uh, this Deer Hammer smoked whiskey that uh, is signed by myself. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. I love Miss Becca Sue, 1K no C's. Um, it's a exclusive <laughs> ABV barrel shop pick. Yes. With mm. my face on it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. That was solid. That was solid. Not enough though. Yeah. Not enough. It, was, yeah, it was good. Wow. Those we were three cork pops. Really there. good ones. Yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Cheers, gang. Cheers. Cheers. Ding. All right. We'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we got more sure to go. More sure to go. We have more show to go. Uh, <laughs> this is first show of the night. <laughs> We got more. We're, just, we're not even we're doing great. Beach. We got plenty of shore oh, to go. Doing, we're doing great. So yeah, much shore, shore from sea to sea. Beach line. Merry we'll sure to Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staveandthief.com.
Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. This is Evan Eaters, and you're listening to the Bourbon Daily. Cheers! Welcome back to the Beach Daily. Excuse me, the Bourbon Daily. Uh, today we're talking about Wranglers jeans. Yes, we and are. Buffalo Trace. Is that yes. It? yes, Wranglers and Buffalo Trace. Yeah. So there, there it is. They have a new partnership. Uh, what can you tell us? We'll have KK who likes to do the research. What What did you find out in your research here? I found out that basically it's like a line of Western wear. Yeah, Western it's not just, style. You, you it's not just with blue surprise. Jeans. Were you expecting something different from Wrangler? Well, I thought um, it might be just the jeans. Yeah, <laughs> really. I oh. thought they were going to do a Tommy Bahama inspired line <laughs> with Buffalo Trace. I am shocked. Well, my question is if they're doing these like plaid snap front shirts, why are they with Buffalo Trace when Lenny Eckstein is right. obviously right. the guy they should or be talking to? <laughs> Or Neely, because Pat Paul wears those type of shirts, too. It could be one of those two. Deerhammer or Neely should have gotten this deal. And yet it's a Buffalo Trace. Yeah, so it's a, it's a bunch of different things. It's not just blue jeans. It's, like I said, jackets and, and more. So yeah. yeah, they got they got some neat-looking little hats on there, too, and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Button eaters, would you uh, pick up something here? Uh, I don't know. I, I, would, I would wear something if, uh, if I got one, yeah. If it's I don't know if I go out and buy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. my mom, my I'm, mom buys my clothes and dresses me, and if that's go. what I get, okay, I'll be hopefully, happy. Hopefully, your mom's listening, and uh, yeah, yeah, you score I'm score some of this wear. Predicting this could be like the next ice mold type situation of someone's like, oh, my friend likes whiskey. What do I get them for a gift? Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, this Wrangler shirt. This is Buffalo Trace on it. It's the perfect answer. So every Aunt Susie is gonna get this. Right for that the yeah. person who likes whiskey in their family at Christmas yeah. time. So prepare yourselves. I think it's right. genius actually for both brands because it's right before the holidays and everything. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, that's no accident. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing though: this stuff is not inexpensive. No. No. Yeah. But they do make quality right. clothing now. Uh-huh. I will. Say, yeah. If they were going to randomly slap Buffalo Trace on some clothing that has nothing to do with the brand other than the fact of they're like you can put our name on this Wrangler at least is good quality so yeah, better than yeah. something that's going to completely fall apart that you know it's rustlers stuff, at least. rustlers <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know who 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 could party with rustlers what would be a good brand for, for the <laughs> partner with rustlers jack daniels <laughs> no not jack daniels <laughs> no it would it's got to be Lord. Lord. a Cleveland whiskey company, maybe would do that. Uh, yeah, we're rapidly aged. We, we, so we the clothes is rapidly aged too. Yeah, yeah, it's rapidly. There you aged. go. That's right. So it's it's rapidly early aged deteriorating. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Marketing yeah. writes itself. Yeah, I think that would be good. So I will say, 
the ad on this that's on Wrangler's page on their page with all the Buffalo Trace, which one in order to click on that page, it says 21 plus. So I was like, does this mean Whiskey's coming with the shirt? Because that'd be great. Uh, right. But it's not. It doesn't appear. But the ad they have, the bartender is in a jean jacket and a like handkerchief tied around her neck. Like they went too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too much. And she's holding up the Buffalo Trace and showing it to people like, like it's a okay. bottle of wine. It's and then they slide an empty glass with just mint in it across the bar. I don't know where their marketing was going with this. Right, hmm. right. Yeah. I Have mean, you ever held a bottle that way yourself, Katie, of whiskey? <laughs> yeah, that's how I often offer my <laughs> whiskey. I, I go yeah. smile, you know, hold my arm out. <laughs> my white cloth. Right. Yes. Right. The vintage. It's not how long it's aged, it's the vintage now. It's the vintage, oh. yeah. 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 The bouquet. Mm -hmm. okay, so. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, yeah, p potentially a, a gift item. We'll see if anybody on the show gets uh, something from Wrangler uh, for uh, Buff in Buffalo Trace for Christmas. We'll see. Mom, um, we'll you're listening. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and Katie's mom, if you're listening, she'll give yeah. her own idea. Yeah. I don't think she'd approve of this one for my clothing choices. Really? But... She wouldn't go mm. for that. Oh. What about uh, she just wanted to buy you some dungarees for working in the yard? <laughs> <laughs> I think she'd uh, tell me to hire someone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh, okay, fair enough. All right. We'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Von Dieters, we'll start with you. You can find me on Instagram at Von Dieters, I before the E. All right. Katie. You can find me. <laughs> Look at Becca. Uh, uh, over on Instagram at Katie Proof. All right. KK. You can find me on Instagram at KKCaskStrength. Miss Becca Sue. You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Miss Becca Sue, 1K, no C's. All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see us. The ABV Barrel Shop. Heck, Miss Becca Sue was just there the other day, so you never know who's going to be there. Come, nobody was there either. Right, and she's wearing a shirt right now. She has the ABV Barrel Shop shirt. Look on. at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was there yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Wranglers may call us for a partnership. We'll see. Probably. We'll see. I'm just I'm throwing it out there. We'll see. Uh, we can be found at abvbarrelshop.com. Miss Becca Sue, anything else to say before we get out of here? I'd just like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review that includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. If you like what we're doing, we ask you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash the ABV Network. Great job today, gang. For our audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. 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 Peace. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing, the ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you are in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.